Hey, so what's up guys? Matt here with Joy Tech, back again with another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at the Galaxy Buds Live. As you can see right here. So I never knew I'd be making this video because I never thought I would actually be buying the Galaxy Buds Live because I really have my AirPods Pro and those are really my daily earbuds because they're really reliable. But uh, I've heard really, really good things about this Galaxy Buds and I'm really, really curious to try out and see whether they live up to the claims. Especially in terms of battery life, the noise cancellation, and so on and so forth. So before we begin the unboxing, the initial impressions, and also the setup, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit the subscribe button, enable notifications, because that will greatly, greatly help the channel. So I really want to give a big thanks to my current subscribers for really supporting this channel and uh, giving me all the love so that I can carry on making videos like this. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so we're back and let's take a very quick look at the box. So I bet you've seen tons of this around. I mean the unboxings and review. But anyway, this is my take on the Galaxy Buds because I've actually never used a Samsung wireless earbud before. This is my very first one. So fingers crossed. Alright, let's take a look at the box. Let's take a look at the side. You can see Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. The shape is, yeah, people say it looks like beans. I personally think it looks like beans. But for me, if it fits well, the shape doesn't really matter. I mean look at the airpods in general airpods really look hideous but because they fit well and they sound really good yeah i'm willing to wear it all day every day all right let's take a look at the specs you can see right here you can pause this and take a look so this has a much better battery life compared to the airpods pro according to them at least you can see right here so yes active noise cancellation but we open back design something like the um, huawei free buds 3 which I reviewed before, something like that. So it's open back design. So I'm not really expecting great noise cancellation as compared to the AirPods Pro. I love my AirPods Pro because they really block out almost 95% of noise. I, I mean, I still can hear a little bit, but because of the passive noise isolation as well as the active noise cancellation, really does a job. All right, so you can see Samsung e-warranty. In the front, you can see the design of the Samsung Buds Live, Galaxy Buds Live, in fact. Right, so let me grab my unboxing knife and I'll be right back. Right, so let's unbox this bad boy. You can see it's sealed. So I got these buds at a pretty good deal and I'm not really regretting the price that I bought it for. Great, so let's cut open the seal. So this is also a sealed box, which is a good thing. All right, so we're moving the lid. You can see there's also another box up here. All right, so you can see warranty card right here and also a quick start guide. I bet it's quite straightforward. Okay, let's take a look at the Galaxy Buds Life. I got mine in the white color. Right, you can see here is the white color Galaxy Buds Live. Sliding it out. Oh, simple as that. No peeling needed. Let's take a look at the casing. The camera focuses. Alright, so pretty nice case. Wow, really, really nice. I'm really impressed with the fit and finish. I definitely will be getting a case for this because I really don't trust myself without a case. Because I've dropped my AirPods Pro a bit already. And if I didn't have the case, uh, it will probably be broken by now. Alright, so in the other box, we have the charging cable. It's a USB-C cable. Pretty nice. And then what else do we have? Oh, we have some ear tips or wing tips or whatever you call these things. It's pretty small. Alright, so let's take a look at the case. It's a glossy case, something like the AirPods. So I mentioned before. So this also has wireless charging built in. We'll be testing that out later. So you can see on the back, there's a USB-C port. Let me get the camera to focus. You can see there's a USB-C port. And then you have a Samsung sticker here. I bet this is a warranty sticker. I'm not really sure what this is. But I will not be peeling this off. So on the front, you get a small notification LED which will light up when you're charging the earbuds. Okay guys, so since I have my wireless charger here, I might as well just show you wireless charging. See, so it's charging up the case as well as the earbuds inside. You can see the earbuds inside. That means... So there are two LEDs on the outside means the case battery and then on the inside means the earbuds battery. So the earbuds technically have a full charge. You can see right here, it's green. All right, so let's take them out and see how they feel. So this case is pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed with Samsung's uh, design. So let's take a look at these earbuds close up. See these earbuds here? They really look like beans, don't they? All right, let's see how they fit in my ear. So I'll probably take a picture and show you how they fit in my ear. So now I'm not expecting much, but let's see how it goes. Alright, so basically this is how they look on my ears. Looks pretty discreet. 
I think it looks pretty nice, uh, even considering the color. And they fit very nicely. Okay, here's some beeps already. Not really sure what that is. So you do have to download this app called the Samsung Galaxy Buds app. You can see I'm downloading it here. Uh, once it's downloaded, I'll show you how the setup process goes. All right, so while we're waiting for the app to download, let's take a look at the comparison to the AirPods Pro, which I have right here. All right, let's see the size comparison. All right, so you can see in terms of the form factor, it's totally different. You can see this AirPods Pro has the short stem sticking out, of course, much shorter than the original AirPods, but still, there's a stem and a couple of sensors. And this also has some sensors on the inside. See right here. So it's pretty, pretty high tech, whatever goes on inside these earbuds. But of course, the only way to test them out is with a sound test. So let's get this Galaxy Buds set up. So I've already downloaded the app. Right, so let's open the app and see what happens. So you need to use Bluetooth, yes. Get started. All right. So Galaxy Buds Live. Let's see how the connection is. So connect. So it seems that they already found the Galaxy Buds. So I'm not going to report anything. So how to wear your earbud. See right here. So this is a very quick tutorial. So you actually have to slide it in and twist it a little. So okay, got it. Let's move on. So now it's pairing. All right. So you have to connect your Galaxy Buds. All right. So there's already software update. All right. So it's technically connected. Okay, let me try to wear them and see how it works. They fit pretty nicely, in fact. All right. So I've already worn them. Let's turn on active. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Sounds like I'm wearing. I have uh, like a cotton bud in my ear. Sounds something like that. So taking a look at the app. You can see there's a couple of equalizer settings right here. So you can see normal, bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear, and treble boost. I'm not going to touch that. So there's already a software update which we're going to do later. Alright. So let's take a look at the touch controls. You can see there's touch controls. You can set it for active noise cancellation, touch and hold. And you can also assign it for Siri, is it? Yeah, voice command. So they'll be using Siri and also volume up. So it's uh, pretty, pretty good. All right, so you can see the labs here. So you can be like a sort of a beta tester in a way. And then you can see find my earbuds. Let's see general, so you can only reset it. So that's about it. So there's a software update. I'll be updating it later. So it's ready to install. What else do we have? Um, so basically that's it for the app. So in the app, you can see actually the battery percentage. I'm not sure whether you can see the case battery percentage. Let's uh, check it out. If I open the case, does it show? Let me take the earbuds out. See whether they show. One's in. Yes, it does show the battery percentage of the case. So that's a neat feature. Alright guys, so I'm back and actually I went ahead and did the update because I think the update is very crucial. Let me wear them on. Wow, I'm really impressed. It's super clear. Noise cancellation is alright. I, I should say about 60 to 70 percent of the sound. They are clearer than the AirPods Pro, in fact. AirPods Pro sound a little bit muddy, but of course it's a very, I should say, neutral kind of sound. And this is very dynamic. So guys, before I end this video, I would like to give uh, some of my thoughts uh, of the Galaxy Buds as compared to the AirPods Pro because I've actually used this for around 24 hours plus and um, I already have my thoughts about it. And I think that if you have a Samsung device, a later Samsung device, this will definitely benefit you much better because you know, things like the pop-up window that like you get on the AirPods if you use an iPhone, yeah, you wouldn't be getting this if you're using an iPhone with these Galaxy Buds. And also certain things like wear detection is not working on the iPhone. So, I mean, you lose some functionality if you're using the Galaxy Buds Live with iOS in general. So basically, I think that if you're using an Android device, this will really really benefit but of course you're only losing a couple of features so the main thing that i'm not really impressed with is basically the noise isolation or the noise cancellation if they call it um i think it's a marketing gimmick i should say yes it does help but it reduces the lower frequencies 
But in terms of if you're out and about, you're in a coffee shop, you're trying to watch on Netflix, yes, the volume is louder on iOS as what the other reviewers claim. Yes, it's true. But because it doesn't block out the high frequencies as well, like just like the AirPods Pro, you're definitely going to hear a lot of background noise considering that this is a sort of open back design. In terms of fitting, yes, it fits well. Uh, it fits well, but however, I'm finding some trouble with my right ear though. I find that when I wear them, my right ear seems to be not very well placed, I should say, or maybe it doesn't really fit well in my right ear. But on my left ear, it's fine. So I guess that's my issue. I, I, I've never heard a reviewer saying that. For me, I feel that the sound is also not too balanced because it doesn't really fit well in my right ear as compared to my left ear. I feel that the sound is very nice and I should say full. But on my right ear, not so much. So I feel that the sound is not so balanced. I guess it's just the fit. I guess I have to change probably the ear tips or something like that. One more thing is ambient sound. And I think ambient sound is something that it is a must have for every every year but especially for in-year ones. I mean this open back but yes ambient sound is definitely something that they should include. It shouldn't be in the labs function. It should be a feature that they will, it comes with the earbuds. Because I think especially if you are in a busy street, if you use ambient sound that's probably going to save some lives. I mean yes sound does penetrate through but if you have ambient sound especially when having conversations or something with someone while wearing these buds that would really help. So that's about it but I think that overall the battery life, the fit and finish is, is pretty good but of course I do prefer the aluminum hinge on the AirPods Pro but of course you're paying a, little, a lot more for that but if considering that the price is similar to the second gen App Apple AirPods I think the case is much better built overall. I feel like because this lid is uh, kind of big in terms of surface area, I guess if you drop it or do push it around in your pocket, this will get loose after a while. I'm not really sure in long term use. But for me, AirPods, because they are overall smaller, the lid is smaller, the footprint of the lid is smaller, I feel that is more secure. It's just, just the way I feel about these earbuds. And uh, overall, I think wearing these earbuds too, wearing these earbuds is... Uh, there's a steep learning curve, I should say. Yeah, they tell you how to wear it and all, but when you actually use it, I feel like I'm, I'm hitting the touch controls like uh, nobody's business because I keep on playing and pausing my music because I use it mainly with iOS and uh, I try to use this as a replacement for my AirPods, but this is just like giving me some trouble. Uh, but overall, I think the sound quality wise, sound quality wise is where I got to give Samsung credit for because I think the sound quality is absolutely fantastic. In fact, as you saw in my test is that I'm really mind blown with the sound quality. I think they sound a lot better than the AirPods considering they're open back. On top of that, they sound really, 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 really good. In fact, if I compare this with the FreeBuds 3, I think the FreeBuds 3 doesn't sound as good. Doesn't sound as good at all. I think because it's of the driver size, I think these drivers are much bigger as compared to the Apple AirPods Pro. But overall, pretty good. The wireless charging works better than airpods if you guys know if you're using airpods for a while you know that wireless charging doesn't really work well of any of the airpods because uh you know the metal hinge the aluminum hinge when you put it on a wireless charger sometimes it detects that it's metal and it will stop charging and you will start overheating and stuff like that but this doesn't happen here because it's very well designed this is all plastic right here so i think overall i can recommend this to people who are using android but uh, ios users uh, you will not be disappointed as well because I think this is a very good alternative to Apple AirPods because Apple AirPods, considering the price, it is uh, pretty hefty at this point in time. And I think this uh, will really fit well in many people's budget. But if you're an Apple fanboy and you like Apple stuff, I guess that definitely going with the AirPods is a much uh, better choice in terms of integration as well with iOS. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys like it. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And so subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.